Hello again viewers, finally made it in to show you this hotel, the H10 Las Palmeras in Las Americas, Tenerife. I met a lovely viewer outside last night, pleasure meeting you, who's staying in here, said really really nice hotel. They said the food could be improved a wee bit, but let me know in the comments if you stayed here. Bill and Ann from Belfast, what do you think? I know you like this hotel, I've got some family staying here soon as well. So I'll show you a wee quick tour outside of it. Inside, it's one of the nicest hotels in Las Americas, no doubt in it. Location wise, brilliant. It's right next door to the Dubliner, Gaelic Corner. And you've got the promenade and the beach just straight ahead. You've got quite a number of restaurants in here as well. So it's a very, very nice hotel. Pool must be heated, I'm assuming there's people in it just now, but it's quite hot today, it's 25 degrees. This is getting filmed around about midday. So you can see they've got a further pool up the back there as well. Don't know if you can see that. I can't get right in because people's sunbathing. So there's a lot of people around the pool today because the weather's great. This is getting filmed 31st of March. So looks like a really, really nice hotel to chill out. Let's take a wee walk inside. Bar area over there, pool bar, really nice. It's got the feel of a proper four-star hotel. I've been in a few four-star hotels in Las Americas. And I don't really rate them as 4 star for various reasons. They're more like 3 or 3.5. I would say this one's probably definitely a 4 star. So outside entertainment takes place over there I'm assuming the wee stage. I'll see if I can go in and show you a wee bit inside. We'll go up the top. I might get stopped up there for we'll see. If you watch to the end I'll show you exactly where it's located if you're coming here for the first time. I spoke to quite a few people who have stayed, stayed here and They've all said they really like it. It's a nice hotel. Looks like they've got a wee shop there. Okay, so there's the entertainment on for today. So they've got various things going on around the pool and stuff like that. They've got table football and other things, table tennis. A lot of stuff going on. So they've got a wee jeweler shop here by the looks of it. Okay, so they're also selling sandals, t-shirts, various other things. Some nice stuff up there for ladies as well. You get suntan cream if you need it as well. If you forgot it, like me, I'm good in there. So very, very nice interior. Really nice. Reminds a wee bit of the H10 Tim and Fia Palace that I stayed in in Playa Blanca. Another really nice hotel. This is one of the restaurants. Won't go right in obviously. Probably just coming up to lunchtime. You can go all inclusive in this hotel because I've got family who've booked in here. So that is a restaurant just straight through there. And it's a reasonable size for sure, got a big size. Another wee bar over here. Let's see what they've got in draft fuels. That's important. If you're on all inclusive, you need some nice draft lager or beer. Let's see. This is the Fat So Tavern. <laughs> ah, now we're talking Estrella. Probably my favourite on draft. So I'd stay here, no problem. And they've also got cider on draft, Old English. Don't know what else they've got on draft. And got Campari and Martini over there. Can't really see what the brandy drinks are or what they're giving you for vodka and all that. Up there it says the Big Ben bar. The Big Ben pubs and Los Cristianos. I've done a wee video walking past there as well. Nice wee seating area. This definitely reminds me of the H10 Tim and Fair Palace. It's the same chairs. Must be the same company they get them from. Location wise, this hotel is brilliant. Really, really good location because although you're in quite a lively location in Las Americas, next to the Dubliner, um, Gillick Corner, and also the Railway Tavern, the Bell. If you fancy a wee change, you want some fish and chips, go into the Palms Fish and Chip Shop, I recommend there as well. But the thing is, when you go out the back to the swimming pool, it's as if you're in a different area. It's quiet out there. So it's got a good wee mix. Don't really know what this is. Anybody know what this is? It's a wee terminal, it says you can buy eye tickets. 
don't know if that means you can actually book the hotel through there, I don't know. Some hotels you go into, you go to reception, you ask for a price, and they say we can't give you a price, you need to go on the website. Don't know if it's the same here, I don't know. Um, really, really nice reception area. If you're staying here for a week or two, it just looks like a nice hotel just to chill out and relax in. There's the Imagine Bar. Not sure if that's named after John Lennon or not, I'm not sure. We've just got more seating here, there's people just chilling out. Let's head up the way. This will be the entertainment maybe section, so I can see they've got a magic show on tonight. David Boras and Yasmin, and they seen them. Now here on the left, it looks as if they've got a small gym on the left hand side. They might have more down the stairs as well. A kids play area in here as well. So it's not just an adults only hotel, we've got a wee ball pit, I don't know if you can see it, down there as well. Okay, and we've got another wee shop here, they're doing massages, gel nails, acrylic nails, different things. I think they've got a barber as well, you get your haircut in there as well. So, there we go. Let's head up the stairs. As I said, we might get stopped from filming here, we'll, we'll see. I'll try and make it outside to show you the location. Now we're talking a piano. Who does not like a piano bar? So, we'll head outside and I'll show you the location. That's the bar over there. So it's a really nice bar, a piano bar around there. I'd imagine at night, that's pretty busy. Quite a lot of the H10 hotels, if you're on an all basis, they're busy at night. Again, really nice here as well. Another wee shop here. This brings us out onto the centre of Las Americas. So location-wise, brilliant. I had a pint yesterday in the Railway Tavern. I had fish and chips next door at the Palms Fish and Chips, lovely as well. So if you want a wee variety, a wee change from your hotel food and your bars and that, you've got a couple of options there. You head further down, you've got PJ's Sports Bar, Leonardo's, the Traveller's Rest. If you're young, you've got the Veronica Strip, five, ten minute walk down there as well. And next door, you've got the Gaelic Corner and the best bar for late at night live music, and I mean really late, Bands on to about three in the morning. The Dubliner. The good thing is the Dubliner's downstairs, so it's not outside music. It's not going to disturb you, I don't think. I was speaking to the viewer last night. She was telling me her room's just up there. So, how you doing? All right. Not bad. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Cheers. So that's the Dubliner. Careful going down the stairs at the Dubliner, they're very steep. Great bar for live music late at night. I've done another video showing you <laughs> how steep the stairs are. The famous Dubliner. And then round the corner, you've got the patch. There's different ways you can go in the patch. You can go down this way. You go past Daniel's Cocktail Bar, Los Angeles, and a few other places. Or you can go down this way down to the right past the Sax Rock Bar. Just take a wee left, down the stairs, you're going to Princess Dyes as well, if you want to go and see Billy Porter, Scottish comedian. So, there we go viewers. H10 Las Palmeiras. Absolutely lovely inside, lovely hotel. Most people I've met have said the hotel's fantastic. Let me know in the comments if you stayed there, would you recommend it? Location wise, it's brilliant. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, do me a wee favour. Hit that wee red button below. The one that says subscribe, it's absolutely free. Just down there. Really appreciate it. Hold on, far too close to the camera there. Yeah, let's get away. Thanks for watching. I'll leave a couple of videos, one up here and one down here. So if you're interested in new videos, um, I'll leave a link to a couple of other videos that might interest you. 
Thanks again for all your support watching the videos. I really, really appreciate it. And enjoyed my wee walk through the H10 Las Palmeras for about two years. I've been trying to walk in there and show you what it's like. And it looks lovely. It's as nice as I imagined it would be. Thanks a lot, so much for watching. See you in the next one.